Abdiyo. Assalamu alaikum. Skara. Libanti tena adunio, libanti tena akhira. Wahan kujirto, wahan kujirta Amerika ali o an kukada, an kukada. My name is Shukri. My name is Shukri. Welcome to my farm. Yeah, we here in our society we rely we rely on camels. Camels everything into our society. You see, one camel is bigger than this one. You see, yeah, we rely on them. One camel maybe produces produces ten liters of milk. Yeah, from our society, when we want to maybe to make a marriage, you take. Camel as our door, you see. So this camel, you can get, take them to market. You can sell them more than hundred thousands. Yeah, it can produces even. You see, that's one camel maybe produces ten liters of milk. You see, one liters is more than hundred shillings. You see, you can take them ten maybe ten times hundred. You can take one thousand to your family. You can buy for them clothes, food, school. You see, yeah, and it produces a lot of meat. So camel in our society, we depend on them. It is very important. Keep it farming with AIM Agriculture. Hey guys, this is AIM Agriculture, the best channel that you'll never miss to watch. I told you, each other day we bring you something new. And we are here in Garbatula, deep inside the wilderness. I think it's Isiolo County. We've been traveling since yesterday night, uh, since yesterday evening. And we just want to know what agribusiness opportunities are there in the dry areas. And here we are with the desert king, the camel. The milk is so fresh just from the camel to the mouth mm. it's heavy and a bit salty i'm told the milk is disease free it has been tested in very high-end labs and still remains the milk of your choice guys let's dig deep we are with imam today as our host and he tells us his journey on what it takes to be a camel farmer. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Each time you upload a new video, you'll just be the first one to miss it. There are better things coming. Cheers. <laughs> This one here is a small camels. Yeah. And here is a big ones. This one is for milk. We are milking. See? There is some some even male, male inside them. Like that one, you see? The bigger. Yeah. And here is the bush where we are now. Uh, keeping our camel here, no problem. Every day we are come here, here, here we are come for them to collect milk from them, you see, and we will take them to the soko. Here now, we are in the, in the camel boma. It is very far from town, deep in the bush, you see, all the trees. We keep our camels here. There, there is some brothers who are taking care of them. And every morning, uh, those are our brothers who are here to take care of the camel. They will milk the camel. So there is motorbikes who are coming from town with the jerkin. We are putting that milk in the jerkin. Then we'll take him again back to the, to the factory, you see. We'll put them inside the fridge. After we put it in the fridge, no problem. We, well, after one, after the following day, we'll take the milk to the market, maybe Nairobi. All the milk are, are from, you see, here, Bush in, in Siolo, Garbatula. Camel is 
natural, God gives. Yeah, this is just blessing from God. Because this camel even feeding, feeding them is not, it's simple, just, just they, are, they are eating just from, from trees, yeah, branches, you see. We can just feed them just kilometers, two kilometers from here. You can relax, you can, you see. Yeah, no disturbance there, like uh, maybe you see goat, the way you are feeding goats, simple. It's just take just a, yeah, a little, little, little from some branches, you see. You, can, you cannot take a lot. This is a camel milk and it is very delicious, you see? Yeah, it is medicine. And even when, when you maybe you can you take it from just you take it from camel, you can go to put it on maybe to, to boil it. Don't boil it, boil it, don't boil it very in a high, yeah, in a high heat, just boil it. Simple, just put it on fire. And this one is very medicine, you see? Your stomach. This is very impressive, but even the herders have impressed um, new farming methods like introducing of mineral salts to the herds. And they say the salt helps in increment of actually milk production or milk letdown, which is also key because the body requires a salts or minerals for its functioning and its growth. The camel drinks a lot of water. Yeah. But when the one it drinks once, even he can survive more than even four to months, five months without water. He can he cannot get sick. Yeah, you can take it for about medicine, you can take just medicine once. Camel has been our, our mainstay, economic mainstay from the beginning of life. But we are in the dark. Nobody knows about camel. Nobody knows about the milk. And uh, why is because of historical injustice in Kenya. So most of the investment is going to the high potential areas. That is the highlands. So this region has been classified as low potential area, which we don't agree with them. If we can have a research that can tell us, can inform the outside world that these are the benefits of milk, Camel milk, I'm sure we can sell, uh, and uh, that will be very good for our economy. Long ago, the milk was not being sold. It was being, we, we used to drink and the other one we spoil. But now, it's really helping us. We are getting the fresh milk, we are getting the niri niri, and we are getting the yogurt, of which that is the one that stands for our home bills right now. N for now, there's no need to sell the camel, but we sell its product that it is producing, of which are this one that you can see. Hello, guys. Uh, welcome to Tawakal. This is Tawakal Cooperative, based in Isiolo. Uh, I would wish and I would, like, uh, I would like you to know more about the camel. Many people think that camel is only meant for transport. But here we are. Just want to let you know that Camel also produce other products that can, can be consumed by human beings. So I'm Kevin Miruye, Knowledge Transfer Program installed by the Egerton University to help in value addition of the camel product. That is the camel meat and also the camel yogurt. So here we are producing three kind of products. That is the ice cream, the yogurt, and also the nyiri nyiri known as the camel meat. So I will take you through how, what we are doing on a daily basis so that we make the three product. So this is the pasteurizer of a capacity 100 liters used for pasteurization of the camel milk. Either to be sold as a fresh milk or either to be dispensed as a fresh milk or either to be used in value addition. The value addition here I mean 
to convert it to maybe the camel yogurt or any other product. Yes, so that is this is what we are using. It's uh, a double layered. We call it a vat. Yes, so a vat simply means it has water in between that is being heated by some filament. So the filament that is eating the water, the water that's eating the milk. So milk is being, it's not being eaten directly. So this is called a cooling tank. So the cooling tank, this is what we are using to cool our milk. The moment we receive our milk from farmers, we immediately cool it to four degrees Celsius. So this is the cooling tank. We open it here, then we insert our milk here. It is being cooled. It can cool to about, four, about one to four degrees Celsius. So basically for the camel milk, we do it for four degrees Celsius. So this is a cooling tank of a capacity 500 liters. So this is an uh, ATM milk dispenser. So we use it to dispense camel milk after pasteurization and cooling, we use to dispense. It has a capacity of 100 liters with two compartments. The first compartment holding 50 liters and the second compartment also holding 50 liters. So this is what we use to dispense the fresh camel milk for the consumers who relied on the fresh milk for maybe making tea or maybe taking it the way it is. So this is what we are using in dispensing our milk. So it is an ATM dispensing milk that is used to dispense milk for the farmer, for the consumers, I mean. This is a meat slicer. Yes, it is used in uh, slicing the meat. The meat which is being used in uh, making the njirinjiri, the dried camel meat. So, after uh, slicing meat from this point, then we take it to an, uh, another step for boiling that milk. For boiling that meat, I mean. So this one, basically, it is used in slicing the meat. We have what we call the platform test, that is to determine different aspects in milk, whether the milk is good or the milk is bad. So the first one, uh, which we are basically doing, we are carrying out what we call the alcohol test to determine the quality of the milk. So the milk that we are always receiving from farmers, you can't ascertain the quality. The first thing, you can't ascertain if it is good or if it is bad. So the first thing what that we are always doing, we carry out the alcohol test here to determine. So the alcohol test, we have here what we call the alcohol gun. So in this alcohol gun, we have alcohol in it, 78% uh, alcohol to determine the quality of milk. So with this one, if I may demonstrate, you will only insert the top of it inside the milk and then you invite it, invert it. The moment you invert it, if it is a, a good milk, it will not coagulate. If it is a bad milk, it will coagulate. So that is the first one. Then the second one, which is uh, all, all, also similar to that of the cow milk, it is uh, the density. So we always determine the density of the milk, if milk has been adulterated or if it, it has not been adulterated. Uh, farmers are always very funny. Sometimes we'll, uh, for them to affect that high profit, they will tend to add water into the camel. So to determine that, to determine whether the milk has been adulterated with water or oil, some of them will also play around with oil, the vegetable oil. We do what we call the density test. So the density test, we have the lactometer to test whether the density of the milk has been interfered with. And the third one is also the temperature. The temperature we use the normal, the normal temperature measuring uh, uh, gadget. So with that one, after determining the, our temperature, always we all we immediately cool our milk. In, uh, we have uh, a cooling system known as the chiller, which always cool the milk. It is somewhere there, will be shown. So we always cool the milk to our temperature of four degrees Celsius. Yes, here to ha ha harvest the growth of the microorganism, not to grow. After that, we do, if we, 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 we determine whether we want to make our yogurt or we want to make which, which kind of product. But here basically, as I have also mentioned, that we make the yogurt that is of different flavors, vanilla, strawberry, mango, and chocolate. So the first machine here that is next to me here is called the pasteurizer. We always uh, do pasteurization of uh, our milk. For the camel milk, we do it 90 degrees for 30 minutes. That's for the pasteurization. That's what we do here. After pasteurization, 
we determine if we are going to sell the fresh milk or do we want to make the yogurt. If it is for the yogurt, we pasteurize it, then cool it to a four to a 45 degrees Celsius, then we add our starter culture. After adding our starter culture, we cool it, then we do what we call the incubation. The incubation takes about six to eight hours for the yogurt of the camel. After incubation, uh, we cool it again to four degrees Celsius, and then we add our flavors and our, uh, our colors. So from that point, after cooling it to four degrees Celsius, we do what we call the packaging. We, package, we pack it into different uh, containers, of which I will show you, show you here. We have, this one is for 500 ml, and this one is for 250. In our local market right now, this one goes for around 150 shillings. This one goes for 75 shillings. Yes, so with this one I have here the, the flavor is strawberry, all of them, but we do make different kind of flavors. We make vanilla, we make uh, chocolate, we make mango, and also the pineapple. So we have different kind of flavors. Uh, apart from that, I will just take you through the second product that we are also making, that is called the Nyiri Nyiri, the dried camel meat. The dried camel meat is somehow very important because it's being used in different occasions among the Somali commun communities, like the wedding, and uh, in uh, Kikuyu, we call it the Roratio. So it is used in different occasions, and it is being liked by the community, Somali community. So the process of making the Nyiri Nyiri is very simple. We do what we call the defatting. The defatting simply means we separate the milk from the lean meat. So here we are using purely lean meat, which doesn't have fat in it at all. So the first one, the first step is separating it from the, the fat from the lean meat. So we are used to use, after that we slice it in smaller pieces. This is what we call our slicer. Yes, so we are using this machine to slice it into our smaller pieces that we want. Then now we do what we call, we boil it. Yes, so after boiling it, we wait, then we do what we call deep frying. So we deep, we do, we do, we deep fry it in uh, vegetable oil. So after deep frying it, we package it into different packaging materials. Our shelf life varies depending on a different kind of packaging material that we are having. The first one, we have the vacuum packaging material, vacuum package. So this one is called the vacuum package Nyiri Nyiri. Yes, it has been vacuum packaged, meaning the hair has been withdrawn from the package. So it can stay for more than eight months. Yes, so this one has a, sh a longer shelf life than the others. So this is one of the packaging material that we are using. We are using a vacuum packager to do this. It has sucked that uh, air in, in the package, so there is no air in it. So it is very strong. Even if you touch it, it uh, looks like a stone. So this one has a longer shelf life than the other. And then we have oil vacuum packed. So this one, we dip it into oil, and then we do vacuum packaging. So this one has an oil in it, but it has been vacuum packed. So this one also stay, but doesn't stay longer than that. Uh -huh. We have we have uh, packs like this one, the, the the plastic packs, but they have the oil in it. We have different quantities like this one is for for 500 grams. We have for 250 and also for 500 grams, depending on the kind of packaging we are, we are using. Then apart from that, apart from Nyiri Nyiri, we are also making the ice cream. The ice cream takes the normal processing like the normal ice cream for the cow. We have the machine for making the ice cream, different ice cream of different flavors there that we are using. So those are the kind of product we are making from the camel. So the camel is not only known for transport. There is that notion that people only think that camel is only meant for transportation. Camel can also be converted into food, which can also be utilized by different human beings. So the importance of camel products are many, ranging from uh, reducing diabetes, yes, and also other things. They are also very nutritious in terms of nutrition. Yes, so camel 
is considered to be one of the animals that is producing a unique product in northeastern region, basically in Isiolo. So I here welcome you to test the camel product, wherever you are, and also tell us your opinion based on that. Thank you very much.